How can you make your daily work life much easier by automating mundane tasks, maybe yourself? And what can AI do for you? Kevin Murray is the Senior Vice President, Product and Solution Marketing at Automation Anywhere, is here to talk about the latest automation innovations. Kevin, welcome. Ronald, thanks for having me. You speak globally to large and to small organizations about their front and their backend automation. What type of main challenges do you see and why do organizations speed up automation investments typically right now? Yeah, I'd say the topic that everybody's talking about is how to be more resilient in the midst of a global pandemic. That is as a conversation we have every day with virtually every customer we work with. And what's happening is that they are changing their priorities to be able to shift their strategies to becoming more resilient uh, should there be another disruption or major, major disruption like we saw or are seeing right now. So for example, um, the priorities that you see in the Global 2000 um, have changed to favor this type of strategy. For example, the Global 2000 puts cybersecurity as number one, which is no surprise, but number two is cloud, and number three is indeed robotic process automation. So the Global 2000 sees the need to invest in resiliency and the acceleration of those strategies is pretty much what we talk about every day. And to become more resilient, how can AI help you both in the front and the back end automation? And what type of new developments are there in the market? Yeah, AI is a fascinating uh, topic because AI is this, uh, theoretical uh, discussion typically where there's a lot of data science and there's a lot of complicated discussions around algorithms, which doesn't really help uh, your average customer out there. So instead of investing in the theoretical, the key thing is to invest in the practical. And that's uh, AI that's going to help, um, whether it's execute starting with simple tasks into the more complicated that learn over time. And uh, AI can help uh, uncover things like in, in our world, in the automation world, it's about really uncovering the opportunities for automation. Like what should you automate? And not every, every customer we talk to has a very clear idea as to what they should automate first. And then AI can be used to process unstructured data, for example, and turn it into structured information so that uh, it can be easily manipulated or you know, run through a, a set of repeatable processes. So the bottom line is that AI needs to be used in a practical fashion, you know, whether it's uncovering opportunities or uh, put into a means so that it learns and improves to increase uh, whether it's speed or elasticity, whatever you're looking to do, AI has to be practical. Yeah, and you're talking about this prioritization and we see two types of companies now, the ones that are in a storm and the ones that thrive due to this pandemic. How can these two types of companies and organizations benefit specifically now from automation? You know, what's interesting is that we're starting to have conversations around how they measure success. And uh, normal enterprise level discussions around metrics are things like uh, incident volume or handling time or mean time to resolution. Those are all great, but those are uh, what we call a click down and we need to get a click up on really talking about what they're measuring as far as success. And what I'll tell you is that the customers that are leaning towards things like NPS, Net Promoter Score, both with their customers and with their employees, so we call that ENPS, Employee NPS, if they're focused more on satisfaction and attracting and retaining talent, uh, the other metrics around handling time and incident resolution, especially in IT use cases, those will come, but it's really focusing a lot these days on experience-based uh, metrics like uh, net promoter and, and customer experience and employee experience. Yes, some exciting new developments. And, and one more question. Mm -hmm. If you look to this new type of developments where you can automate your, your front end, but you also use speech recognition, conversational AI, can you share us what's there in the market right now? Yeah, what we've uh, discovered is that um, only about 5% of an employee base within the average enterprise is interacting with automation in some way. It can be as high as 10%, but between 5 and 10% is the, is the average. So the problem that we really wanted to solve was making automation accessible to everyone in the enterprise. 
any employee should be able to, whether it's call a bot or uh, execute some kind of automation or process to help them do their jobs better. And so what we were able to do was create something called the Automation Anywhere Robotic Interface. We call that ARI. So that's A-A-R-I, ARI. And this is the thing that's going to make it so that uh, automation can be used in the enterprise, much like you use your digital assistant at home. Like if you have an Alexa or a Siri or something like that, you should be able to take what you do in your consumer life and do that in your work life as well. And so what we've done is we've introduced Ari so that anyone in the enterprise can run bots or even uh, go and uh, browse through a selection of bots made available through their center of excellence. The bottom line is automation needs to be accessible to everyone. And Ari is the way that we are trying to make that happen. Yeah, that's a great development that's really democratizing automation within the organization for every person in the organization. That's amazing, to be honest. Kevin, thanks a lot for sharing all these new developments and for being on our show. Thanks for having me, Ronald. It was a pleasure. You're welcome. And for the audience, thank you for watching and we see you next time.